So what do you guys want to talk about today? What's on the docket? Are we going to talk more about the Olympics? We're going to fucking kill ourselves? What's up? What's up? I'm ready to do this. I am thrilled to be on the, another episode of the podcast with my boys, Eric and Will. Hear any of the updates about Mr. Jimothy Breast? Is that a fake guy? That's, <laughs> That's what a Jimmy is, Beast. Oh, okay. I was going to say, is he related oh, yeah. to Penis Mike? What is the, Who is that? Um, He's crashing and burning real hard right now. Because now he hired a se- like a registered sex offender. To be oh, I thought you were going to say it like a thing. Like, like no, the, we're not talking about the trans person. Yeah, That's, is is the newest thing. Okay, there's a new thing. There's an even newer thing? Yeah, whoever it is that is where, mm-hmm. who, where like the person who goes by the nickname Detroit. Detroit? No. Is it Detroit? That sounds right, actually, yeah. If it, dude, it is Detroit, yeah. Anyways, he goes he, he by wear, the nickname just Detroit. He wears a mask. Mm-hmm. Like Dream. And no, he, Delaware. Delaware, yeah. Yeah. He diddled an 11-year-old when he was 16. Mm. Oh well, it's I, a rape when charge. I was 16, I bought my drugs from a guy named Chicago. So, like, I think did he rape any 11 year olds? Because there might be knowing a Chicago, very likely. I don't know if you ever no. met the guy. He once pointed a gun at my face and threatened to shoot me. I, mean, I think so, I remember you talking about this guy yeah. back when we did theater together. Yeah, he was not a he was not a cool, chill dude. He was mm. not the guy I wanted to buy drugs from. He was the guy I had the chance to buy drugs from. Ah, yes, I. I knew a couple of guys who, if, like that. Who yeah. is like, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Stop every production. Stop. Okay, fine. Jesus. Let's Calm do a down. tier list of drug dealers. Okay. Like, you got like a list in mind? You got like a couple Your of dudes? Your guys' experiences, yeah. My guys, my, okay. Easiest one ever so was like, probably the dude that lived across the street from me. Easiest guy to buy. I think I was just like, I'll give Why? you an what extra ten dollars. What tier would you put him on? He that dude was S. I just give him an extra ten bucks, and he gives anything I want to me, no hassle. So mm. like easiest shit. So the quality of like S tier drug dealer for you is is somebody who you just slip them an extra bit of money and they give you whatever. Yeah, and they don't shoot me. You know, like they don't threaten to shoot me. I don't have to go to the bad neighborhood. I can stay at oh, my he, house. He lived in a nice neighborhood. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, we just. He just lived across the street from me. He lived with his mom because, yeah. of course, he did. And he was in his 20s, and he was a really chill dude. And if I ever wanted drugs, all I had to be was like, hey, man, how much for this? And he'd be like, it'll be about this much. And I'd be like, cool, I'll slip you an extra 10 bucks. No hassle, whatever. Just mm-hmm. I gave him an extra 10 bucks, and he was always super cool about it. Got it to me. No frustrations, nothing. That is way better than Chicago, who pointed a gun at my face. Hey, where would you put Chicago on the ranking? He's about mid tier, C tier, <laughs> C tier. <laughs> yeah, he's about pointing about a gun C-tier. at your face is C tier for in the world of um the world of drug, drug dealers. dealers. Yeah, that's what yeah. you should expect. No, that's not what you should. <clears throat> I feel like C tier is like so what like the average. If you of did what, what you I expect. did, then yes, it is what you should expect. I, you deserved I, it. I would do. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I one hundred percent deserved it. Okay. I, uh, I don't feel like you should hold it against him. Though. I said the N word around <laughs> around my black drug dealer yeah, as a joke, yeah. as a goof, as a small little small little goof. He did not take it well. well he goofed oh. with you back. Yeah, he go- yeah he absolutely <laughs> did. He absolutely he goofed the shit out of me. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I was so goofed. I got in my car and drove away at ninety miles an hour. I was very goofed. Did you go back and see him? Yeah, absolutely. Of course. The next day, I was like, "Hey, man." <laughs> Sorry about yesterday. I still, I still need to buy some weed, though. You yeah, know. I suppose. Um, I never had any uh, violent rejections from any of my drug dealers. Uh, I know one of my earliest ones. One was, second, uh, Eric. I'm, I had one thing pop in my mind. I have to interrupt you. But did you say the N word before or after you bought the drugs? Oh, before. Oh, it was beginner uh, mistake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every yeah, every uh, every dr- professional drug purchaser knows you don't say the n word until after you've already purchased the drugs. That's how yeah, it works. You don't do it till after you have merchandise. Yeah, in of hand. course. Anyways, go go ahead, Eric. It was just a joke. It was just a small little joke. Well, you don't joke like that until after you give the money. It's true. He was probably pretty upset. He. Maybe gauge how often you want to use the N-word around black guys who are currently breaking the law with you at that time. Uh, you know? Yeah, you know. And I, I mean, mean, like, how well did you do? Because you got to really know some before you start joking with that word. Yeah, that's not something you throw into a casual relationship. You know, I, I knew him like, you know. As well as any He was an associate, yeah, not as, a friend. As, as, as well as any so addict no. knows their drug dealer. No, because sometimes you know your drug dealer really well. Actually, like, yeah, I yeah. will agree with that. Because like my dad buys his drugs from his dad. 
So, well, you know, there so, you go. Sometimes you know your drug dealer super well. My earliest drug dealer was, you know, a it was my black dad. ghettoish guy. <laughs> <laughs> and he was, uh, you know, a former felon. Um, and he was there a lot. He had cheap, low quality drugs, and he was very unreliable. Yeah, that's your typical well, where would like, you, first drug dealer. Where ever would you have. put him on yep. the rankings? S through F. D. D. Yeah. Mostly the unreliableness, huh? Mm-hmm. That's what really got him. I mean, in. it's not like he had anything particularly special. You know, he was only there about half the time, and it was bottom of the barrel weed. Okay, we got to establish you know. what like a mid tier drug dealer is. I already said the guy who points the gun at your face <laughs> if you say the n word. Okay. That is that is mid tier. Right. Bottom like me and him what might you want to know is different. <laughs> setups for that by his. I'm uh, just trying setup. to like you know, if, in case somebody yeah. somebody wide eyed and 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 young and just like I'm going to go buy drugs. Well, okay. I'm just well, trying I think to give them. To establish I'm is just what's trying the to give worst. them like a a idea of what to expect. Okay. Oh. Well, bottom of the barrel worst drug dealer is an undercover FBI agent. Yeah. That is. If, like, he, if let's be honest. I don't know. Here. I don't know. F tier has got to be an undercover cop. <laughs> he's you like he's like well they at least they're reliable. You know they're going to be there. They're professional. No, I don't know. Like uh, a cop who's unreliable. <laughs> He's just a shitty undercover cop. The guy you're trying to buy regular weed from who's into way worse shit and is already like high on his own supply. Like a meth head. Yeah, that's exactly what I was meth thinking head. about. Is that the guy F-tier? we called Quazy Brian. Yeah, yeah. that's F tier because. Okay, go ahead and spread Quazy Brian. Well, what I know of him is when he was a little younger, a teenager, you probably heard this story before. Uh, he drank with, a bunch of seawater. Have you. Are you Familiar with triple C's? Triple C water. Seed in cough and cold? No. It's uh, basically just pure dextromethorphan. And bro took about 300 of these pills. Benadryl, roughly. basically. No, not Benadryl. It, worse, really. Uh, yeah, kind of worse. Yeah. Um, but the closest thing I think Will knows to this is probably Benadryl. My man Robitussin. took 300. Imagine Robitussin. drinking eight bottles of Robitussin in one sitting. How did he not, like... Die? Die. Well, he doesn't remember much from because like, I have like, a buddy that who, week, um, who accidentally OD'd on Tylenol. Oh, Tylenol's different. Oh, Tylenol okay. just will kill your liver. Will yeah. never get you high. Yeah, like this will in fact get you high, but it's a not a good idea. Well, will it not also kill your liver? It. Ooh, not, that's a good question. Robitussin. Mm, it you depends. take eight bottles of Robitussin, my dude. It might kill a organ. Yeah, it's not good for you. I can give you it that. It obviously did something to his brain. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> I assumed he... So, why'd you say it like a horse? Because I assume he boiled his fucking brain <laughs> I was that trying day. To, I was trying to quote fucking Planet of the Apes or whatever. The dude <clears throat> from Planet of the Apes was like, they took out his brain! Uh, <laughs> you just came across like if you were a horse. <laughs> I'm done. brain! That's how I said the N-word to my fucking drug dealer and he pointed a gun you at me. You n- <laughs> <laughs> Patrick, bleep like that out. You can't say that. Anyway, but, um, no, he completely fried Eric, put himself down the gun. on that. I didn't bring it today, remember? What oh. are you holding? It looks like a gun. It's oh, very come flesh- over here and give it a little touch. It's a very fleshy gun, admittedly. There you go, yeah, take a look. See the okay, magazine? Why does it look... Well, yes, I do, but why does it look like... What did you do? Mm. Have you had surgery to make your penis look like a gun? You know what I'm into. Oh, he's banging. I'm banging all day. Oh, my God. I, it kind of reminds me... What happens if you take the... Cr- what happens if you take the clip out? It's unloaded. It's a magazine. Magazine. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I, well, I mean, it really depends. I can't tell what kind of gun it is. I, I mean, like, you know, hey. I feel like I did miss the opportunity for there to be a joke about a stripper clip there. Well, mm, all I know no, is I a lot of the box. time he's shooting blanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, after that much, if after that much plastic surgery, I'm really not that surprised. Yeah, did we sure even say the intro? Connected correctly anymore? Yes. No. Welcome to Anything Cast. I'm Patrick. I'm Eric. You're just doing this because you're afraid. He's afraid. <laughs> what He's the afraid! Fu- what? <laughs> I'm just remembering yeah! from Starship Troopers. Patrick, <laughs> put in the cheering for Starship Troopers. <laughs> what? Are you implying I'm doing the intro because I'm afraid or the yeah. show in general? Because <laughs> <laughs> He's afraid of like <laughs> slipping into obscurity. Yeah. If well, no now, one believes in Patrick, he yeah. will actually well, fade from being, existence. I don't now know if you're you knew just Freudian slipping, but uh, no, I was saying you're afraid mm-hmm. that you you didn't do the intro. Yeah. yeah and I that. refuse to do it because I don't live my life in fear. We already did it.
hit it, I'm sticking by my guns. I'm thinking of uh, I'm thinking again about like what's the bottom of the barrel drug dealer, and I'm thinking, you know, the guy that I got drugs from that didn't want money and always wanted a blowjob for drugs. That's pretty bottom of the barrel. Yeah, drug being dealer. sexually assaulted for drugs yeah. has got to be pretty like, to your behavior. That was that was pretty bad. I would have yeah. rather just given him ten bucks. Yeah, like I don't know. That's. What am I a ten dollar blowjob hooker? What the hell, Eric? No, you should you shouldn't. I mean, if you like sucking dick, I don't mind sucking dick, but I don't really want. I I don't. He doesn't. It's a matter of how much drugs. If you're gonna make me suck your dick, yeah, I feel like you should at least get a half. Yeah, no, my dude was like, yeah, like ten dollars worth of like one gram of weed Ugh. for a blowjob and I was like no, no absolutely not so I did it like yeah, once or you, twice and then I never did it again <laughs> you're being harassed I, I, mean, I don't know about harassed taken I was being advantage of at best taken advantage of at worst kind of technically raped yeah you know I mean it really you know, depends it does but does it help any to say that it's the same guy who stuck batteries up my ass no Okay, well, see, no, I it doesn't I, help at all. <laughs> I thought that might help a little bit. I don't know. I mean, did that make you feel less sexually abused? No, I don't think anything in that conversation <laughs> or situation was making me feel less sexually abused, Eric. I don't, I don't think that that's, uh, well, I don't think that's how I that works. So then, no, it wasn't better. Well, what yeah. if I said he's the one who left money in your pillow at night? Would that's you feel, his mom. Would you feel uh, a little less sexually abused then? It, Dressed as the tooth fairy right before she came back into my bedroom. Well, the real question here is, is that implying <laughs> that she, he is my mom <laughs> and has been my mom this whole time? Or are we just saying that my mother doesn't exist? Because if he is my mom, then I think I have... I've got way bigger problems <laughs> than oh, that, that I was sexually abused. And being Patrick, sexually abused is up there as far as problems to have. Patrick's but been if, molested by his drug dealing tooth fairy drug dealer person. like Who is also <laughs> like moonlighting as my mother. Yeah. Is somehow, you know, I never did see them both did, in the same room at the same time. <laughs> Where does the word moonlighting come from? I believe that means fucking, shit that you do at night that you don't want people to know about. Yeah, you like fucking get off work. It's the night, and you're like, I'm just gonna go with my other job. Yeah, that like I'm moonlighting as a prostitute. Is there you know? anything that is like cool to do that for? Where it's like mechanics. Yeah, like, moonlighting uh, mechanics kind of cool. You're right. Moonlighting. I'm moonlighting as a veterinarian. Like I help people off hours emergencies. Um, no, I'm thinking like cool, nah, not like you know annoying. graceful and like Imagine good being for a vet, humanity. You just like um, you just put down um, like four dogs today. And you're coming home. You're really sad. Uh, it's been a hard day. You, you get you get your key inside your apartment's door, and then your bitch of a neighbor. Hey, hey, my dog's throwing up. Could you come look at it? God, you're actually right. That might for one hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> no, she expects you to do the neighborly thing. And moonlighting as a uh, you remember mm, off hours helping people. Moonlighting no, as a private I investigator. Get, uh, I charge for that work. <laughs> Like that Ooh, is moonlighting uh, as a private investigator would be pretty cool. My dad did that for a while. Hmm. My dad was a PI for how a many short people did he? How many marriages did he break up? Dude, probably so many, but that had <laughs> nothing to do with him being a PI. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, From my, my dad, understanding of PIs, that's like exclusively what they pretty do. much. Yeah, it's that's mostly it's whole... finding people cheating. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and it's not like the PI is breaking up the relationship. The cheating motherfucker is b breaking up the relationship. He's just getting just. I don't sure, know why we sure, have to talk sure. about them fucking their own mom. That's not how it always goes. That was only that one time. But my dad moonlighted as a bunch of different stuff. At, at one point when he got out of the military, his job was literally a uh, pool shark. Like that, that was the only thing that could be described as his occupation. That was how he paid his bills and how he bought his food. How do you be a good pool shark. He uh be really good at pool and be really good at manipulating people. God, I imagine something so different. I'm sorry. He's in a shark was... suit, just yeah. like <laughs> at just like the family mauling people and like stealing all their money. <laughs> I thought he was at a hotel like pool, and then like he had that shark fin dorsal thing. Yeah, okay. That was when he worked at the front desk of that hotel. I told you about that too. He used and to be like, the manager at hotel. Occasionally, you know, you gotta go to the shark attack, and like he just go out of the water and like, I scare hate people. Th I hate that. I hate that visual. I hate the idea of like, I'm just enjoying my time at a hotel. I want to go down to the pool and swim for a little bit. All of a sudden, some motherfucker that works at the hotel, I don't see him get in the pool. He's just in the pool. He just drags me under. He's, a, he's in like a shark suit and I'm like fighting for my life. You come up, you're like, ah, 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 And he's just, just like, for, To help with the visuals here, Patrick's does a short, stout, uh, hairy, bearded man. <laughs> 
Um, and, and imagine like next to you deadpan and like hating his job. He goes, shark attack. Shark attack. Shark attack. <laughs> shark attack. <laughs> Give me your wallet. <laughs> That'll be 15 bucks. Yeah. She just bites the shit out of you. What the fuck? <laughs> shark attack. Apparently my uh, grandfather was a world... Uh, I don't know what the world the word would be. World, world star. renowned. Yeah, world star. My <laughs> grandfather was a like a world level pool player, like billiards world guy. World champion kind of deal. Not like champion, but like he went to world championships. Okay. And he was like he was like obscenely good at playing pool. And uh, I thought that that was a lie my entire life until my dad one time with him at Christmas party was like, "You want to play pool, Granddaddy?" Like we did when I was a little kid. And he was like, sure. And he's like 92. And he just fucking wipes the floor with my father in like three turns. And Your I was father like, who used to make a living off yeah, of being conning a pool people shark. playing pool. Yes. And then I was like, oh, that's how my father was able to be a pool shark. He <gasps> played against that guy's entire life. And that's life. why you have a pool table mm-hmm. at your house. Well, it's out in the shed, but yes. Yeah, that's... But but yeah, yeah, yeah. You gave up that life, but one day. <laughs> that's like his Batman costume sitting in the one, back. One day, you'll be you'll take that old sucker out. and He'll put the cowl back on. Yeah, and, and he'll be dragging <laughs> you back in. You'll be a world champion like your grandpappy could never could do. Not ever since... The incident. I don't know if I can go back to playing billiards. I like to imagine the incident. Like he scratched the table, basically. <laughs> <laughs> and they just said a racial slur. He just yelled out the N word. <laughs> and then he sees drug dealer sitting across the table from. What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> he gets up and pulls out a gun. gun. <laughs> yeah. That that's the part I left out of that situation. Wait, we were actually that- at a world championship billiard. <laughs> the camera zooms out. Everyone else in the building is black, and they're all looking directly at Patrick. God, like, what is this? The the, the Trump interview at the fucking uh, NCA. In- journalists whatever the NCAA. fuck it was no it's that uh it's that bit from family guy where peter gets in touch with his black roots and goes to a <laughs> fucking uh hey listen thing. to this yeah that's it that's pretty good patrick play some music behind that yeah make a song mm. out of that with that as the percussion damn nice. oh that listen slaps to that. okay wow. god damn I love how I am now just I, I like make playing around with this thing so much. I'm just giving myself more Things work to do. in the future. <laughs> like it already it already takes up so much of my time to edit the podcast in general. But now I have to make a song. And I remember hey, you uh, actually complaining about doing exactly that kind of shit. Like not but like three or four podcasts. Ago. Yeah, well, I didn't have uh, a keyboard to make it easier. Hey, yeah, actually, um, editor Patrick, could you make a whole uh, song themed around Judge Eric? Thanks. Hey, everybody, it's time for our Judge Eric segment. What do you need my judgment upon? Well, we have an interesting case. Okay. Uh, Let's see who we're executing today. (laughs) (laughs) Who's on the chopping block? That's what you always love to hear going (laughs) into court. The judge is like, well, let's see who we're killing today. The victim of this crime was a murderer. They murdered a 10-year-old. Very sad. Uh, the 10 year old's cousin, however, mm-hmm. happened to be in the same jail that this oh. murder attended. And they forcibly uh, gave their, the, they put the name of the kid who was murdered on the forehead of the murderer, saying, you know, Blah's sweet, or Blah's revenge. With a tattoo gun. Yeah, with a tattoo gun. What do you think, Judge Eric? What, what do you what, think, uh, Judge Eric? They're in, they're in the court, they're sitting before you. They're not, they're, they're, they're proud the that they did this revenge. On one I'm hand, sorry, Eric, this sir, is that the justice system has failed you. You will gain no extra charges or anything like that. Um, quite As a frankly, of fact, we're just letting you out of prison. You're, that's that's how you get out. <laughs> my, that's in, I mean, my if they're a violent criminal. <laughs> no, you'll you'll still serve your sentence for the crime that you got in there for. But as far as that is concerned. That's our failing. We should have killed that guy. Mm. So the fact that he was there for you to pin to the ground and tattoo his forehead was our failing. So no new charges will be filed. Nope. He will serve his sentence normally, and this uh, will objection, be considered neutral. Objection, Your Honor. He mm-hmm. also uh, anally penetrated my client while he was tattooing his forehead. And... It was impressive, right? That's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I, I saw mean, a that's picture all, of the tattoo. The amount of coordination and, is and amazing. And honestly speaking, it's not that bad looking. 
No, so, I, I saw it too. Like, it looks way better than, like, it doesn't look like do, he was struggling yeah, very like, much. Would, did you, would you not struggle if someone's forcibly putting a tattoo on you? I don't know. If he was also holding a shiv to your neck. Wow. Well, yeah, <laughs> sit real fucking slow. Yeah, dude, stand still, please. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we would probably really like five around. dudes, don't you think? Oh, probably. You yeah, think like, like, like he, he three guys bodies? were like holding him down? I absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. He's I'd over there. <laughs> I mean, Will, would you have helped him? Yeah. Probably. Yeah, yeah, me too. I mean, I think all three of us would have helped him hold the guy down. Do you see that? Um. So, I mean, fuck him. Do you see that? Uh, Who cares? Judge Eric, another case that sure. comes before you. Did you see that? Did you hear about my client who uh, lined up his three sons who were six, oh, seven, dear. and eight, and then told them that they were good boys and then shot them and executed them firing squad style in front of their mother? Mm. Except for one of them ran away and he shot them in the back and killed them in his house. I see. And then he said he did it because you have to offer your children to God. It says so in the Bible, Your Honor. Mm. Ooh, the Abraham defense. Yeah, the Abraham. That's legitimately what this man said. However, also looking at this man, there's not a single photograph of this man where I'm like, yeah, that guy's sane. Is, that guy is so sane. He is the most sane man. Definitely insane. D d he's just nuts. Like his his eye. He, like he <coughs> he looks Death like he doesn't decapitation. Blink. Study his brain. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Uh, <laughs> Cut I, his I, head off, I, but honestly, don't don't kill the brain. Use him I in the psycho the one, world. One more, one more case before the judge before he has to go away now. Yeah. Uh, and I'm this a busy is man. this is an old one. We're kind of rehashing this one, but I want to know cases your take. to hear people to kill. You know. Uh, <laughs> you, you know about the mattress guy, right? The mattress guy? Be more specific. There are a lot of crimes involving mattresses. So, uh, the the defendant here it tried to take a mattress out to the dumpster. Okay. Uh, but his uh, nosy-ass neighbors decided that they wanted the mattress, but... Um, sure, sure. Actually, you you know the story a was little better. Was there a corpse in Did, the mattress? Uh, well, I'm the prosecutor, but sure, I'll step up and just what, give the what, story. Was, was the guy <laughs> the guy doing the mattress that got killed? Or... Imagine, this, imagine this courtroom scene where like, the, def the defendant's lawyer's like, well, actually, uh, prosecutor, you know this story a lot better than me. Would you like to... <laughs> would you fill me in on the details? The well, judge just I, I can't there, remember like, oh. who owned the mattress in this situation. All right, so here's the deal uh some some boys a man and his son mm -hmm. took a uh took a mattress out to the dumpster but they didn't put it in the dumpster they put it up against the dumpster which blocked a drive that was in between two houses in a fenced in area that was a small alley that people would use to drive and to get between streets okay uh the neighbor so very obnoxiously placed trash mattress. yes the neighbor okay. got frustrated told them to move it several times on uh, several over several days this is a single mattress i can't see myself even if it was a king size mattress not just grabbing it and shoving it over a oh little. yeah they just obviously hated each other or something okay yeah they were being petty Yes. So they get into an altercation. In this middle. is where the video picks up. <laughs> yeah, they get into an altercation in the middle of the alley about this, and the, the neighbor is and the screaming like his fucking life is on the line. He and has he a baseball bat. Hell. He has a baseball bat. His and, wife is recording. And his wife is recording with her cell phone, and then the man and his son both have a pistol and a shotgun, respectively. The son has a shotgun, the man has a pistol. Uh, they're arguing over whether he should pick the mattress up and put it into the dumpster. And the man with the pistol says, if you get within three feet of me, I'm going to kill you. And uh, the altercation gets much worse. Until the wife eventually, the entire time is screaming, kill him, kill yeah, him. She, yeah, she's edging the dude on. Eventually, she's trying to get the person with the baseball bat to go after the two people with guns. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Eventually, they get in such a, uh, a, a heated debate that uh, he throws the baseball bat at the guy, not like hard, hard. He just like tosses it at him and uh, they open fire yeah. and blow the guy absolutely away. I, mean, I thought he charged them and then they shot him before he could get very far. No, okay. I think he tried charging them after the guy shot him with the pistol. Uh, and then they blew him away with the shotgun. And, and at it, that point, the wife's like, ah! Yeah, and ah. she's screaming and crying. Yeah, you fucking moron. You just told your fucking retarded husband with a baseball bet to, uh, to attack two people with firearms. Yeah, he's going to die. This is in Texas, by the way. Is uh, I got to admit, especially with Texas law, the two people, everyone here, if, you, if this is an am I the asshole story, uh, this is the third category. Everyone's the asshole. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's an everyone's like, the asshole For story. sure, everyone's the asshole. Legally speaking... It was like petty assault, and they blew him away with a shotgun. Ju Judge Eric, Eric what? Th we're, Judge we're, Eric, we're at you, the point where I think we can ask for a decision. Sure, Judge, Judge Eric, Eric, this has been a murder. 
Most most quaint. Most foul. Most foul. No, no, I would say that this is a extremely exaggerated self-defense kind of situation where I mean, on one hand, if I've got a gun and somebody charges me with a baseball bat, it is not very difficult to kill a man with a baseball bat. So yeah, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to yeah. shoot him for sure. hundred percent. No, no hesitation. No moral quandaries. I don't feel bad about it. We're we'll called Jerk. Now, he but limply given, threw it. At wait, wait, wait. Them. But given all the shit that you told me, it sounds like this is a little hazier than just a man charging me with a baseball bat. Like one, clearly these people have history together because they're out there with weapons in the first place, screaming at each other. Yeah, in the alleyway between their two trailers. Yeah, like, where was this? In Texas. Texas, Texas, yeah. okay. So then, like, <clears throat> the fact that nobody just, I gotta admit, when you started this story, I thought there was like a body hidden in the fucking mattress or something. Like, I was- Would you like to see the footage? Would you like to review the footage? Oh, yes, actually. Okay, let's review the footage. <laughs> Oh, I'm fucking here. All right, 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 fucking here. I will fucking kill you! You're a bitch, I will kill you too. Alright, fuck you, you little faggot! Guys, you want my kids go, bitch! Fuck you, faggot! Fuck you, cocksucker! Shoot me! Coming back in now, we're back in. Alright. I seem to recall her, like, edging him on a lot more than she didn't at all, though. Mm. No, not really. Not much. Uh, well, Judge Eric, uh, after reviewing the footage, uh, do you still feel that everyone is the asshole? <sighs> they could have just moved a fucking mattress, Eric, and put it in the dumpster instead of putting it in the middle of the alleyway so nobody could drive. Or just not do anything let somebody else do it for them. Yeah, I gotta too. be honest, that that mattress wasn't really blocking dick all. No, <laughs> no it wasn't, was it? No, it wasn't, fucking it wasn't even really a mattress anything. either. It, it was, was a kind box. of screen. No, I, I will say I agree. Box spring. I, I agree as <clears> far <throat> as they were not on their property anymore, so they didn't necessarily have... They were on public property. That has been... The legal right to just... That has been deliberated constantly in court. They are technically on public property. Yeah. They were on so what is effectively a sidewalk. That's probably what really got them. Yeah. I'm sorry, but like... You can charge the shooters a little bit on this one, but it's not full on murder. What time did they get? It's just they got a not. few months, didn't they? No, they got years. The father specifically got years for murder, murder one. Really? Murder yeah, one? Yeah, he on got that? murder one. Ah, that doesn't. And uh, the son got off I feel because like that's they were. aggravated, though. Well, like, the, the you know... son got nothing because he was defending his father. Uh, and realistically. You know what that's... it was? All right. It's pro what probably got him. If I'm, if I'm putting myself in a prosecutor's head, it it's was the, the extra gunshots. Cause, cause you see, but you, the son finished it. No, 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 no. Well, you hear more gunshots than just uh, yeah. They the didn't one just shoot gun. him once and then let him run away or anything. Yeah, they they okay. went. But you hear you hear no, the you bang. You shouldn't do that. And then you see the camera like, look look at the son and then look at the dad and they both start aiming again. They just and fucking then, unload and, yeah, on him. Yeah, you hear like three or they four. They shot him. Yeah, you gotta times. stop him. Like the first shot might just enrage uh, him, which as clearly as, it from what like it I was. saw from what I saw in the footage, and this is just me, is he he did run up on them. Uh, got, I, believe he, I believe they shot him once. He threw a baseball bat at them, and for, then they unloaded I never saw a baseball bat. From, from, from my, you, you see can it, hear it. You see it's, it. Well, yeah, you see it fly across the screen. You see it fly across the screen. Like across the screen. Yeah, he he started it and he got shot, man. Well, well this is this is where I I'm, mean, no, this is where I'm at. This is where like I think they're fine as far as like the first time he's like you know inches away mm -hmm. and then does something like I think he did something and, and got shot. I think that's justified. Yeah. What I don't think is justified. What I think got him years is that you do see a baseball bat like fly off, but it misses. It very clearly yeah, misses. Yeah, it does. They didn't but what happens is the camera points at the son and the, and the <clears throat> father, and you see them both see the baseball bat fly over, and then just point their guns and just start shooting the guy. Because I'm not he's saying, attacking now. Uh, just because no, he missed he, his first attack doesn't mean he's not going to follow up. He was attacking, but like... He knew that they already had guns, and he started throwing baseball bats at him. He's insane. Well, it could be argued that like... He what, might do whatever. What could be, yeah, exactly. That's the argument. He's now, he's now doing whatever to get away, but he is trying to oh, leave not trying the to get situation. Away. It seems like he was trying to fight. 
No, not after the first gunshot. I, I don't know. Bitch didn't keep her camera steady. Yeah, <laughs> Bitch true. did not keep her. But, Bitch did not keep her but camera that, steady. But that's the argument. I mean, and and, and like, that's what we're working with is we see a guy get shot. He he does. Ah, and then runs away. Like he's over here now. I never and saw then you him see run. them aim and then shoot. I never saw him run, bro. All I saw was his dead body on the ground yeah. after the shooting. You started. could argue that he ran. I think the prosecutor probably Did he run towards them or away they from them. They don't know because there's no footage well, of that. Well, you you would be able to tell via how his body landed. Now, we're not no, obviously that's not experienced. True. That is you, true. That's how they determined shit all that. But my neighbor, well, uh, they look, determined he was falsely killed by the police because of how he bought his body landed. But you can twist when you get hit and then land the facing ma- the other but direction. But they can or tell something. no, Eric. They can yes, tell can. they can tell the direction you're running by how you were hit or like how far you made it. They can tell so it's much from not like a super precise science, but you're correct uh, that there is, there is, you can't go entirely off of it, but it does like their suggestions it would made be, by the body. It position. would be evidence that you could use to build a case. You can, uh, you can definitely rule shit out. Even if you can't say this is exactly how he fell, you can say, well, he definitely didn't, you know, get shot this way. Yeah. But you could be like, he was running away. Potentially. I'm looking up it's what not the, always exact, what got. but yes, yeah, sometimes you can. It does depend on how they fall and how they got shot. And there's a lot of footage of this, even though we didn't get the, you know, the hit on camera. We did get a lot of footage, including where his body laid no. right after the shot. And I'm not saying like we're experienced enough or to know all this shit. I am now, saying, though, I'm just trying to, <clears throat> you know, put out there that I can understand like maybe where the prosecution was coming from. Well, in order for this guy to catch years, the for dad, now, got, I will the say old man this. with the pistol got 14 years in jail, not Woo. prison. Oh, really? Yeah. 14 years in jail. That does seem excessive. I think that, though. that seems excessive. I'd have given him seven, but um, or maybe five. I wouldn't but, seven, um, he's so honestly. old. I mean, he's so old that by the time he gets out after 14 years, he's in his 60s. Honestly, so he's it gonna, was he, me. He'll I'm, probably die in jail. I'm more leaning mm. there. I mean, after that whole situation, like I, I think I agree that this is that guy was a psychopath and like what was happened gonna, was it was wrong after the first shot, in my opinion. But I would have just given him a few months, to be honest. Like, yeah, I like, mean, here's some time to think about uh, not doubling up on the shooting. I disagree with Will on that very specific point. If you pull a gun on someone and they attack you. Uh, only an absolute idiot would shoot to injure. You sure, only ever shoot they, to kill. That is the only way you shoot. They were not shooting to injure. That's not, that's not my problem. That is not my problem. Once you pull that trigger, you keep pulling it until they go down. Let me, let me, like, very, let no... me paint the line here for you. Because what my, if he's running problem, back to his house to grab his gun? It, well, he as said far he was going to put is, a bullet in their as head. Far as the he law said is, that specifically. As far as the law is concerned, as far as I'm aware, that doesn't matter because as long as they start to run away, as long as they're trying to get away from the situation, you should be doing the same or you're, cr- or you're a criminal. Given what the point. man just said, I'm assuming he's going to get a better weapon. Uh, I mean, that's because that's I, what he said. I guess maybe you could argue that in court, but like, I'm not. I think one of the biggest arguments in court was that, court they, that no one tried to de-escalate the situation. Yeah, honestly, here's what no should have happened. No and, one tried to de-escalate the situation that they were found to be wanting to kill him. Why weren't the police called? Uh, because it was Texas and a trailer park, Eric. And uh, we all know how Texan trailer park dwellers react with police. Well, they probably would have shot at the police. Again, my line isn't that like he That's tried to shoot problem. to injure That's him. I don't even think people should shoot to injure him. My specific problem is, is that you do see them, uh, like basically see that the guy is away from them in the situation he's no longer necessarily a threat and then the only thing we see after that is them very pointedly point their guns and start shooting again after like two or two seconds of a pause i don't know a lot can happen in two seconds uh, he could have been running he could have been charging well I, you I and me see it. you and me are both in these what if scenarios where you are taking the he was charging at him and gonna kill him in those two seconds where i'm like he was running away obviously both points are valid they are valid but that's that's the situation we're my favorite uh my favorite point of view from i will this say the guy was I've... begging to get shot though he was absolutely. begging to get shot we he agree. was absolutely fucking I... begging i don't know what was going on in that guy's head oh man uh, I, I guess he thought he, he should have gone the fuck back inside he must have thought he was superman and called the police but like he, he, he turned out not... That man turned out to have some kryptonite bullets, let me tell you. My favorite uh, <laughs> thought uh, thought experiment for this is, what if they had had katanas and not a shotgun and a pistol? What if well, what if they had been armed with katanas 
And well, then it would have been much cooler. It would have been so cool. <laughs> what if they had like stabbed him once and he goes down and then the son like pulls him up off the ground. They let him sit on his knees while the dad chop just his chops off. his head off ceremoniously. Well, that'd be more while honor. While the woman's fil- filming. Well, that'd be more honor than he deserved. What they could give him the chance to do it himself. Oh, You're just, right. Just like they get him on they his knees a, and they drop a, a Wakazashi like, on, yeah. the, on the ground. Yeah. They're like, all right, you've dishonored yourself enough. The blood loss will kill you, but you can regain your honor if you just do it yourself here. And they toss a wakizashi on the ground in front of him. No, nah, toss, toss him a rusty spoon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you got to work for it. Would it have mm-hmm. been better or worse if they weren't firearms, though? If they weren't firearms, would the situation have been any better? Well, it would have been better because I think, like, say it's bats, for instance, something probably more likely. Uh the guy maybe got, gets uh, jumped a little bit by the dad and son, but ultimately everyone's probably walking out of the scenario. Probably, yeah. Maybe. They don't wail on his head too hard. It's uh, it's just a little bit better if there weren't firearms and if the redneck fat father and son don't have a shotgun and a pistol God, in the situation. I, I want that image of the son with the shotgun over his arm, uh, just with it saying, never let evil take root. Americans a, have this thing. I want that as a poster so badly. Americans have this thing of we have, uh, we have the idea of like killing another human being is justified as long as they're like assaulting you. If they're yeah. an asshole, let's yeah, be if honest. They, if, yeah, if they're an asshole, Americans are like, yeah, we'll kill the guy. Absolutely. We have For guns. Sure. Everybody like, has guns. Like, it's not assault that like is our An line. armed it's, society is a polite society. Which yeah. is not true at all, actually. Not necessarily. Um, no. But it, it really depends on where you are in the history in that society. Sometimes Sometimes they're extremely polite. Sometimes they're literally war It's almost like it's up scapes. to people and not the things they carry. Yeah, a lot of the time. Um, yeah. And the I, common start age blaming that you tools live in. instead of blaming people, and you start losing the cart for the horses. People always say that about Japan, where they're like, oh, Japan was such a polite society with swords, you know, everybody was they carrying swords. They're still incredibly Krem- polite, even though they have ridiculously well, strict and, weapon and laws. I'm sorry, and have those people ever read Japanese history? Yeah. No, they fuck they weren't. And then you have a million yeah, fucking people like killing helpful. each other in fields. Like, yeah, it's just like, no, it was nice for like. The top ten percent, like yeah, the oh yeah, it was awesome for the time. Like, yeah, the one percent had it pretty all right for being back then. But like everyone else, fucking pe- the peasantry weren't even considered fully human. Yes. Oh, and that's which is like correct. No, no, no. As a matter of fact, you think it's bad being a peasant? I don't know if you're familiar with the eta. I thought you were just going to say slaves, <laughs> yeah, but the fucking- well, no, this is worse. See, yeah, this is worse. Um, they're below. Like, okay, so you know, like the society thing with Japan, it's like you know. Merchants, you know, tradesmen and artisans, peasants, oh, samurai. Or merchants are lower down. Merchants are at the very bottom, yes. Really? Because they don't make anything. All they do is uh, change money between hands, okay. which Wait, is are seen they as even dishonor. Where are anti artists on this? Where do they uh, fall? They'd be artists They're right and between uh, Daimyo and Samurai. Okay, but, um, that's what I okay. think. <laughs> right below the Emperor, I think, is probably about so right. Like, below yeah, Shogun, like, don't get samurai, too crazy. Yeah. Which technically the top part of Samurai is like Daimyo, which is like regional lords, but their social class is still technically Samurai. Yeah. And then above that, you have the Emperor. Yeah. Okay, and that's a single seat position right that's there. a curatoriyama um pretty much yeah. but um <laughs> but he's dead below the, the Emperor entire dead. social strata is the eta um and the trick with them uh and you've probably seen some of their descendants um because they're pretty famous these days um they were below all societal standards have i because yeah. they were things like leather tanners and grave diggers and the like and in a lot of like old Buddhist and other like traditions, handling the dead was considered impure. So you can't really make leather or butcher meat. So it was like or bury dead bodies so if like, you don't handle the how, dead. How, how do you even get that job then? Oh, it's that's the worst part. They have lists to this day of the clans of people who are in there and make sure not to marry into them because they are considered what? low class. Even yes. today? Today, yes. And that is why you have met some of these people, because eventually some of them realized society was never going to hand them dick all. So they covered themselves in tattoos and took what they wanted. Yakuza. Wait, why did you say I've met some of them? Oh, no, he was, he was looking at me. I've met. Oh, I, okay. Yeah, that makes you, a lot more sense. You remember when I was over there for that wedding? Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. You should. I. I. I didn't think that that was like a wedding. When you showed me the pictures, I thought that that was just well, like a porn I thought it would be obvious but... once I came back with a necklace of fingers, but uh, I guess I should have explained. Well, just, yeah. you guys have heard of the Yakuza and you have seen Yakuza members. All of those guys, generally speaking, 
came from the Eta. And that oh. is because they had no potential for any kind of social mobility. Ooh. So if you wanted to do Ooh. anything, oh, yeah, wow. but I should re- put the sound effect I, in. I love Yo! <laughs> yeah, Yo! That, that sound effect it just Doo-doo. oh, I love that so much. I don't know why, <laughs> but God. But yeah, when you said uh, like oh, you've met like, some of these people, I thought you were going to say oh, they moved to America. Not personally. And I, was like, I mean, there are some around here, but because- that would make a lot more sense, right? Like you would just leave the country and then try to go do whatever you want. Like no, the some Norse. do, but generally speaking, they've actually. Actually, they're either still doing those jobs um, because, believe it or not, uh, Japan still eats meat, uses leather, and buries their dead. Big surprise. Yeah, I know. Um, and uh, the others did crime. What because if, can you be? Can those you, were your options. Can you make yourself like, okay, let's say I'm a Japanese man and I'm not an Etta, and I'm t- it's today. It's mm-hmm. today's world. Mm-hmm. If I like become a mortician, d- mm-hmm. does, does my societal class even if it's not like a public like they announced I don't think this guy so. is an edit now do I get added to the list see nah, here's the so. thing because publicly Japan will kind of deny that they do this they're like we don't have social classes anymore right but that doesn't stop people from making the lists uh-huh. yeah it's okay. more like one so, of those things so where it's an you, open secret list basically yes, exactly well they're in every courthouse yeah so you it, can like go to the courthouse there. and then figure out if you want like it's kind of like in america where you can go and like get marriage records yeah you can go and then get these records on people publicly and it'll say who was uh, married i guess into so, the I, I eventually i guess it stops after a certain point the only way to for you to directly associate yourself with what used to be the eta would be to marry them because that would lower your standing. Uh, well, I guess what I'm asking is, are they still updating the list? Yes. Yeah. Really? Current day yeah. ancestors are still being written down, yes. So wow. in order to be included with that, you would have to marry and have kids with I'd them. almost want to do it just to do it. <laughs> I know you do. Honestly, that sounds like the most will thing ever. Uh, hook Japan up with the Yakuza. Big... You could get a mail order Russian bride kind of thing going on. Japan's courthouses, their marriage records and stuff, have these big like branching family tree things. How funny and then would it be? Ancestry, to marry? ancestor worship used to and still is a bit of a thing there. Yeah. So they've always been very meticulous about keeping family records. How funny would it be to like you didn't know, but you just dated or married into like a, a massive criminal organization? Oh, I'd love it. I'd be like, hell yeah, <laughs> absolutely. My life immediately has way more purpose than it does nah, now. Th- also, I'll probably become rich. Bro, and, no, no, I'm neither here first nor of there. All, first of all, if like let's say you like let's say you're marrying in the the spouse is never never involved. They always get the don't talk about my business talk. Sure, it really just depends on how capable I become in the criminal underground and then eventually, I mean, all I need is the chance. You know, I would look at it as like, oh, well, this you is wouldn't a lot be more, Skyler. This is way I'm, more opportunity than you, I had originally. You wouldn't pull Skyler. No, I would have so much opportunity. Well, I guess Skyler me. even helped out for a little while. Eventually, sure. Yeah. <laughs> but I'd be like, I, I don't know. The idea of like power couples and like criminal <laughs> families and stuff like that. I don't know. That that appeals to me. Well, you're very blue blooded. Yeah. Yeah. Like exactly. It. I'm like, yeah, absolutely. They're basically, exactly like nobles, except for they just do legal crime, and then it's good. Yeah, I don't think it would really change my day-to-day very much um, outside of changing the nature of the kinds of favors I would ask from them occasionally. (laughs) It's kind of like being related to the KKK or something. In modern-day Mississippi, it would be like, oh, you've got like a family member who is... Like, let's say your wife's brother is in the KKK. Mm -hmm. You know, and then it'd be like, well, okay, if shit ever goes sideways and I really need to get rid of a gypsy... I know who to call, you know? Okay. Wow. I, I thought imagine, about doing that one imagine, time. Romany. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm I thought I legitimately thought about doing that one time. I was gonna hire Kill the like KKK to get rid of could get rid of a gypsy that was taking advantage of my grandfather. Oh, really? Yeah. He was like living on my grandfather's land, extorting him for money and like just generally emotionally manipulating him. <laughs> That's and, so weird and specific. And I was like, you know what? I could. I know some dudes in the KKK. So I, I could some just make some phone here calls. That could definitely clear this up for me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know a small group that might or may not be in Tremont I would right <laughs> down the road <laughs> that I could just say, hey, there's a gypsy on my grandfather's land who is extorting him, and here's $500. Do uh, with that whatever I, you want. I would tell you just to call the cops, but... They wouldn't do shit. The well, cops no, wouldn't no, do no. Shit. Let's be honest. They just be doing what they normally do on their off hours. 
You're just calling their personal numbers instead of 911. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, that, a fun thing about the family tree thing in Japan, though, those big family trees, they only make sense because, you know, it's classical and it's like old as shit. So all it says mm. is like man, what man and wife, right? Mm. Man, wife, man, wife. So traditionally in history and even still to this day, when gay people get married or have a relationship, one of them has to be written down as the man <laughs> and one of them has to be written down as the woman. That's a funny little thing. You get to legally on legal papers be like, yeah, I'm the wife. How much? <laughs> all right, let's say, uh, huh. Huh. You, you remember how like the princess of Japan stopped being the princess because she wanted to marry someone who wasn't of that class? Yeah, peasant. Yeah, I think that was uh, Meghan Markle or something. I think you had the wrong island nation. No, it, it was Japan also. <laughs> Japan also had that happen. Uh, must have not been nearly as fun to talk about, though. No one ever talks about she the She was Japanese ugly, royally. is all it really was. Is she was just really, really ugly. I thought ugly. she looked all right. Yeah, kind of after, yeah, like, Hirohito. Yeah, we have low standards, let's be honest. I'm a mushroom guy. So. Yeah, I know. After Hirohito, you know, we kind of just stopped talking about the Japanese <laughs> royalty. I really thought you were about to say, yeah, after Hiroshima, like, who even cares if they're ugly? Well, that's <laughs> who... <laughs> <laughs> that, did, that did so much nope. to their genetic makeup that nope. it just kind of destroyed nope. them. But, uh, None how, of them are pretty, let's how be much honest. How <laughs> How, okay, would you be Jesus. disappointed or or more in love if, like, you were going to marry a princess, but she gave up the throne? Would I be what? Would you be, like, a little upset or more in love if you were going to marry a princess, but she gave up the throne? If Do I, I know marrying... that she has to give up the throne to marry me? Um, yeah, sure. I'd be upset. Be ang- I'd be I'd be absurdly angry, as a matter of fact, because we could just not get married. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, I-, I will be your Why man. Why don't we just whore. keep fucking and yeah. you'll be rich? Exactly. <laughs> like, what is the problem? Why don't we just not get married? And then your romantic your romantic idea of us getting married, like maybe when they all die, maybe we can do it then. Maybe I'm not convinced that they'd entirely cut them off, though. No, of like, course they, they don't. Sure That's how not. it You'd works in the fucking. Get, well, they'd have an allowance or something. Yeah, I'm like. Sure. Of still get, but she can't like, take money. the throne anymore, of course. Who cares? She wasn't getting it's the, the throne, Japanese you know? throne. People who care about that kind of thing care, Eric. <laughs> like, you know, After Hiroshima, wow. who even cares? Eric, people, like, people, people who the care Japanese about the Japanese thro- royalty care. Yeah, but after Hiroshima, like, uh, the Japanese royalty can't do shit. Uh, 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 My uh, Japanese uh, grandma. You don't have a yeah, Japanese grandma. grandma. I don't know who up. I have. Look at him. You can't tell he's got a Japanese basement? grandma? No. In your genealogy, at least I can guess. <laughs> <laughs> I to mean, be fair, he doesn't keep them in the basement anymore. Ah, uh, yeah, he's more you of an guys attic kept guy. Finding them in the basement. Yeah, yeah. Oh, remember you know when I you used to live him, in the dude? basement? It's it really hot. Yeah, yeah. Remember when that used to be a thing? Will, yeah. Will legitimately used to live in a basement. It was uh, it was fun. Mm. It was a lot of fun. You uh, you kind of turned. I mean, I started think it started feeling more like a dungeon than a basement. But I liked your swinging chains and did you like the random screams that you couldn't discern where they came from i still don't know how you did that i really don't i really have no idea how you did pa- I, you know i've got a recording of it patrick would please pl- play the clip <laughs> see i i don't know how you did that it's a trade secret Okay. Are you like an audio? Do you moonlight as an audio engineer or something? That's nah, just a hobby. Okay. My dad is uh, building an air conditioner right now. Like from scratch? Yes. Why? My father is that type of man because he's retired and recently his air conditioner busted and he had to learn how air conditioners work to fix it. And then after learning how an air conditioner works, his first reaction is, I'm going to build an air conditioner. So now he has set everything up, bought like all the little tools, and he has taken a processor out of a computer and got a heat sink hooked up to the processor. And he's hooking up electricity to the processor to where it doesn't turn hot, it turns cold. You know what your dad reminds me of? Thomas Edison? The, no, just like the cassette punk aesthetic is like your dad. Like he just Absolutely. rips shit apart and like, like that junkyard looking aesthetic he's like the evangelion thing where they open up the big ai and there's just tubes of pipes in there with little tiny notes that's gonna be me when my dad dies i'm gonna be trying to reverse engineer some dumb air conditioner he made (laughs) and i have to take the panel off the side and crawl inside absolutely no factory pieces whatsoever in it every piece is custom made they're impossible to replace He bought it's fucking he, all he, of the connections he, are like probably, welded like, shut. He's probably gonna like hand carve his own like <laughs> fucking coolant. Oh, he, he's, he's probably gonna like like he'll, 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 instead of using refrigerant, he'll like develop his own fuel. And he's like Patrick, 
in the backyard. <laughs> there is a hole in the ground yeah. of which I've dug. He no. did point at it when I went over there and he was like, this is brand new technology. This has never been done before. And I was like, an air conditioner? An air conditioner. I don't know about that, Dad. It's an air conditioner. He you- would be blown away if he came to my house. Uh, blown <laughs> away? <laughs> 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 Because he likes blowjobs a lot. Yeah, it's pretty much, yeah. Mm -hmm. Patrick knows. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. My favorite part about Will, actually. That was my favorite part of him living in the basement. I'm Mm -hmm. not going to get to be the throat goat if I don't try. (laughs) Oh, Uh, man. Nancy Reagan Jr. over here. Just like the Japanese princess. He got, like, hosing from, like, a metal pipe that goes on a dryer, and he's hooked that up underneath the heating element, Mm -hmm. and then he's cooling the hose my favorite part about this is i know i know if i look at a regular ac and then look at his he's gonna be like this is like so much more efficient and better and and like sophisticated in whatever Mm -hmm. but like to me it's gonna look like junk yeah of course you know it's gonna look like dog shit (laughs) my favorite part uh, of it is that i just i understand where he's coming from as his son with his genetics i'm like (laughs) i get what you're doing dude you figured out how air conditioners work and your immediate reaction was I'm gonna build one yeah that sounds like something I would do and just 100%. add insult on to injury when you go trying to reverse engineer this you come to find out he did half of the machining and tooling with metric instruments and half with <laughs> standard instruments I was working on my car just, oh, and recently found out that all that shit on my car is metric mm-hmm. and I was like oh fuck me welcome to bone town I yeah I mean if you cause you're boned I mean, <laughs> If you get a car made anywhere other than America, it's going to be metric. It's a GMC. That's not true. That's not true. Yeah, if it's in made certain, in certain countries of Africa. Yeah, I was going to say, if it's made in Africa, it'll be it'll Everyone have knows I go to Mbutu Motors every day <laughs> and check what their new fucking selection is. <laughs> They've got the 2006. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite car. Yeah. You know, it runs off of dry grass. <laughs> Will, you can laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can laugh, Will. Uh, it runs like... off of dry grass and uh, diamonds caked in the tears of the tears Ooh. of children. He's got like Elon bones Musk hanging special. off the side. Yeah, the Elon yeah. Musk special. <laughs> it looks like the fucking Flintstones car. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Teslas are measured in electric or, or uh, metric in or uh, standard. In, uh, I don't know. I Probably don't know. Imperial, if I had to guess. I mean, he's. Both South African. Lived in South He's Africa the kind of the America. asshole who would just make it imperial just because he wanted oh, it. Oh yeah, that absolutely, way. he would. Yep. I uh, I changed my oil for the first time. I changed my own oil for the oh. first time in my life. So your car's broken, is what you're saying? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it'll never drive again, as a matter of fact. Uh, Somehow pig's blood got into there. I don't know. <laughs> I fucked up one time in my life. One time I've done something very basic on a car and fucked it up because I was drunk. I think. Oh. I think I was drunk. I don't. Re- I don't remember when I did it. Because the uh, the effects were not immediate. However, I poured uh, I poured cooling into my oil reservoir. Oh no! I, I poured <laughs> engine coolant into it, uh, trying to put it, coolant into my car, mm. and I just fucked up somehow. So bad. So now your car neither has coolant and it has some sort of weird water-based weird mox, liquid yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, floating around in the oil reservoir. Yeah, and I. Uh, I took it to the mechanic because I was like, my car's acting weird, you know? Like, I was mm-hmm. going to take it. The mechanic called me and was like, what the fuck did you do? What ha- what happened? <laughs> Never want to get a phone call answer and it'd just be like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, he was like, somehow mm. coolant got into the oil lines and, and I was <laughs> sitting there on the phone and I just slapped my own forehead. Did you lie? I was like, oh. Did you lie? Go, yeah, oh, I, did, I have absolutely no idea I did. how that happened. <laughs> <Absolutely>. <laughs> you know I did. I was like, God let my wife work on my car once shame on me you know? <laughs> so this is recent then you were yeah. very much a grown adult man oh yeah i was happened. yeah this was like last year this was not yeah, teenager this, with his no, first car this no. was oh. this was last year before i bought my new car wow with all the podcast money now, now i'm guessing that might have had something to do with why he wanted a new car after that mm, it had a little bit to do with so it the me- was the mechanic like I'm going to have to replace everything. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, yeah, it'll be about $8,000 to fix. And I was like, I can buy two, two used cars for that. No, you can't. Not you in can. modern, not in the modern economy. You can't buy shit for $4,000. How about my car? $4,000 is the new $1. for $2,000? <laughs> Reaganomics, people. <laughs> $4,000 is the new one. Surely you couldn't get a beater or two off of $8,000. 
I no, bought a uh, like eight thousand now. Yeah, I bought a lemon right. for fifteen hundred one time. You know, what why would you is? buy a single lemon for fifteen hundred dollars? I was what a fucking retard. What a you know, dumbass. fruit literally grows on trees, right? What you fucking idiot. idiot. Fuck, dude. Dude, kill it's yourself. Just fruit. I bet it wasn't even ripe. Smash your toes with a hammer right now, out of punishment for having done that. All right. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, well, that's the show, folks. Uh, thank you for listening. I'm gonna um, smash your that, toes hand me with that a hammer. hammer. Yeah, yes. hand me that hammer. Uh, it's in the drawer. Pure, uh, All right, I got my foot. Shame. Here. There you go. Which uh, which toe? The foot? The toe? Uh, well, all, it's gonna be all of them. Yeah, all, of all them? five toes. Wait, man. so am I turning the hammer sideways and just straight uh, if, down? I mean, if you want to be efficient. Oh yeah, that you could hit all of them that way. But this you gotta. Is, I, I need to punishment. see them all break. Yeah, this is your punishment. <laughs> okay, sounds fair to me. Yep. All right, uh, count me down. All right, all right uh, three, two, two one. one. Wait, wait, is it three, two, one, go, or uh, one, one? What makes you more anxious? Uh, three, two, one, go. Probably. Okay, we'll go with that. We'll one. go with that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Three, three two, two, one. one. Smash.